Hi guys, I'm India and welcome to my very first video in my channel. So before we start, I want to like do a quick introduction overview on how I want my channel to go. So I plan on doing manga videos and anime content like monthly, like monthly manga hauls. I don't want to restrict myself to a certain style of video, so I'm probably just gonna like try to post things that I like and that I enjoy. So I enjoy manga, anime, maybe do like weekly vlogs and anything else I can come up with. You guys can give me some feedback on that. I plan on doing manga reviews on like the manga that I've recently bought because just to like sit down and like give my thoughts about the thing, see what you guys like because I love to like listen to other people's comments about the manga that I've read. I think that's everything I wanted to cover for right now. So let's get started on January's manga haul. So I'm going to do this in the order that I've read and things that I haven't read or just recently picked up. So the first one we have is Skip and Loafer Volume 2 by Misaki Takamatsu. So Skip and Loafer is basically about Mitsumi, a school girl living in the countryside, moving to the big city of Tokyo and trying to establish herself there and, you know, navigating the path of like being a teenage girl, going to school in a big city where she's never been to before and like making friends and having that school life. So it's a slice of life, which I do like, and a romance. Yeah, I think it's a romance. So I'm not really that interested in romance. And when I kept, I was watching videos of like manga hauls, and I kept seeing slice of slice and loafer, skip and loafer, <laughs> my bad. And my sister got it too. I was like, is this good? And she said, yeah. So. I just wanted to see how good it was and I don't have any like romance all that much in my manga collection so I wanted to give it a shot and I personally really like it it's really good she Mitsumi kind of reminds me of I don't know what that manga is called but I'll put it up on the screen or somewhere or have a text but yeah, she reminds me of like this mon one manga character and I like it. I cannot wait to read the second volume because I haven't read it yet. <laughs> um, next is Kaiju number, Kaiju number eight. So Kaiju number eight is about Kafka Hibino working as a Kaiju Corpse cleanup crewman and he always wanted to work in a defense military force and you know fight kaiju and he just never passed like the the test the test of it or the physical I don't really remember it but he finally got a chance to redo that and achieve his dream but before that he I don't know if I'm giving too much away I don't know if this is spoilers or not but he swallowed a kaiju and transformed into a kaiju. So he has the ability to transform into a kaiju. And I think that's the general gist of it. I don't want to spoil like too much of it. And it has been like quite some time before since I read it. So I really like this manga. I kind of go for more shooting jump mangas because I think that's like more my style. I like to I enjoy reading them. And I, I cannot wait till I think the anime is coming out of this so I'm going to be watching the anime when it comes out so the next is Dr. Stone volume 3 so I read Dr. Stone up to I don't know what volume but I've been reading it online and I just sort of started getting into collecting the mangas this one was actually a Christmas present and this is basically about a white I don't know it's like a light that came over earth and just turned everybody to stone so after years of basically everyone being frozen 
think stuff for the animals and nature, you know, growing out and taking over everything that man has built. Taiju, one of the main characters, woke up from his stonification and reunited with his friend Senku, which is like a scientist, he's crazy about science, and both them together, I don't know if this is spoilers either, either. but uh, <laughs> they made a way to break people from the stone, so they first did their friend in Taiju's crust, Yuzu, Yuzu Riha? Yuzu Riha. And um, another man, Tsukasa. And eventually things happened with them. And Senku, I think I made like a bad explanation, but in, in like a short summary, Senku is trying to basically modernize the the apocalyptic world that he that they are currently living in right now and and he does all of that by you know science and I find it really fascinating I like like the survival aspect of it and the art is amazing I, I was really drawn to it by the art and the survival aspect of it so that's why like I started reading it and I've loved it ever since I haven't read it in a while so I need to catch up on the chapters and but I'm still gonna be collecting it. Next is Chainsaw Man Volume 5. So first off I saw Chainsaw Man online like I think when it first came out and I tried to read it but I don't I guess I just couldn't really get into it or I forgot about it and back then I didn't really collect any mangas I just started my just started collecting mangas more actively last year in 2022 so I I love Chainsaw Man like I love it I need to watch the anime of it because that's I think that's just complete completed but I was trying to like at least read um all of the mangas up to the point where the manga stops and the anime and the manga like ties together I guess so it's about I'm just gonna read the back of it because it gives a better explanation Denji's a poor man who will do anything for money even hunting down devils with his pet devil Pochita but his life gets turned upside down when he's betrayed by someone he trusts now with the power of a devil inside him Denji's become a whole new man chainsaw man and that's basically it. <laughs> it's really good. I really like it. Um, everyone I talked to about this really liked it. And I've been trying to get like my sisters into it too. So the next is Record of Ragnarok Volume 1. So this was a recommendation by my friend. And he has been constantly telling me to pick this up and read it and I was like okay I will but like I've had like so many like volume ones of mangas that I haven't read yet and I kept saying okay I'm gonna read I'm gonna watch the manga I'm gonna watch the anime it never happened but I feel like I'm more interested in reading manga more I don't know actually I'm gonna read the back of it because it gets a better explanation so once every Millennium, the gods assemble to decide if humanity is worth is worthy of its continued existence or if it should be destroyed destroyed when the verdict is destruction the final battle between gods and mortal heroes will decide the survival or extinction of the human race a battle known as Ragnarok at first I didn't know anything about record of Ragnarok I never even heard it until my friend suggested it to me and from the first volume, I like it. It's it's interesting. I never really read anything like it before. But I just hope that maybe there's a different type of conflict. Because I don't know if this is just my opinion. Let me, let me know what you guys think. But I think just the battle and the fighting between gods and mortals can get like a little bit stale. I think. So, 
I don't know, maybe be more interested in it, like the fights and how they fight and the different things they do. But I, I was just thinking like maybe there can be like, maybe there's like another conflict in it to make the story pop a little bit more. Um, I hope so. Or I just hope it like picks up a little bit more. I'm going to give it another try. I mean, I'm going to continue it either way, but I'm going to buy volume two, maybe read it up to when, whenever the um, anime stops, watch the first season of it, and then collect it more until the second season stops, because I know there's two seasons on, yeah, I know there's two seasons up. So these are the ones I just picked up. So the first one I picked up is, as an reincarnated aristocrat, I'll use my appraisal skill to raise the world, volume one. And I like, I think this was probably a novel first because it has like a long title, but I like reincarnated things. <laughs> I like to read stuff about reincarnation because, I don't know, it's, it's really interesting to me. I know there's a lot out there, but I'll, I'll continue reading them. Um, and I'm actually interested in this, like, a lot, because I know there's not a, most of, like, the reincarnated things I read is manga, so I saw, like, the manga, and I was like, yeah, let me read it, you know? And basically, this is what the back says, a salary man suffers a heart attack and is reborn in another world as Ars, Ars, Ruben, Ruben, let me know if I'm saying that right. The child of an aristocratic house, though lacking in physical skill, statistical strength. Ours has a unique appraisal skill that lets him see other people's stats and lented abilities. He puts his skill to the test by discovering a downrunning young man with fearsome blade skills and a street urchin with a knack for magic. Has ours found the diamonds in the rough that will help him secure his famous fortune? So I can't wait to read this because I love. I love things that has reincarnation and I love isekais. Um, so if you guys are interested in a manga review video, I will do that. Just to like give you guys my general opinion of mangas that I haven't read that I'm reading right now. Next is Tokyo Aliens. So I first saw this manga. Um, in the bookstore and I was like oh it's kind of cool I like the like the colors of the art and you know the front of it I was like uh I have other things I gotta buy like I don't want to pick up another new series and then I saw it again in someone's manga haul video and they described it I was like okay that seems pretty good so then let me go pick it up and read it so <laughs> so I'm gonna read the description of it Nerdy, awkward high school student Akira is startled out of his ordinary life one day on his way home from buying manga in Akihabara. There on a the train, he witnesses a ferocious battle unfold between two strangers with unusual powers. Oddly enough, one of them looks a lot like the tall, dark, and handsome kid in his grade. But before Akira can ponder it further, he finds himself kidnapped by none other than an alien. Akira, Akira is far from ready to discover that, a that aliens are real, but nothing can prepare him for learning the shocking secret of what really happened to his father, a police officer who died in a line of duty. So, I will be reading this. <laughs> um, I really need to get on reading my mangas, man. Okay, so the next set of mangas that I have, I actually got from Christmas. Um that I haven't read yet. So next is Die Dark. What did I say like that? Die Dark Volume 2. Um, they didn't have Volume 1 at the bookstore that my sister went to, but so I need to pick up Volume 1 before I can read Volume 2. But I was actually really interested in it because of how the graphics look in Doro, Doro, Hedoro, Doro, 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 yeah. Um, I was like, but I, I don't think I could really, I don't think I really got into Doro Hedoro, the anime, so I saw someone talking about Die Dark, and I was like, okay, this looks kind of interesting, 
and I plan on reading this a lot. I don't know how many volumes there is of this, but I can't wait to read it. <laughs> and I guess I should get more into Dodo Head Dodo too, since it's by the same author. Yeah, Dodo Head Dodo. Um, I'll read the description of it so you guys can know what it's about. Everyone in space wants Zaha Sun Ko dead thanks to a legend that whoever claims his bone will obtain their heart's desire. Being public enemy number one makes his life pretty hard for a young man like Sun Ko, but so far he's been the one doing the bone collecting. Sun Ko and his skeleton buddy Avankian break in their brand new ship cruising the space planes in a galaxy full of bizarre customers. One of them is Hajime Damemoro Maru. <laughs> Let me say that again. Hajime Dememaru, a self-described normal guy who might have a hidden billet, might have a hidden power, and the enemy, 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 enemy of company out for Uncle's life. <laughs> um, I'll probably put you that shit. So that's what Die Dog is about. I really like how it feels and how it looks. It looks pretty. I like how it feels. The next is Dinosaur Sanctuary Volume 1. And it looks just so cute to me. I like cute things, but also like action, horror, there. I like pretty much everything except for like really romance. Like I saw this, um, manga in a bookstore while I was in with my sister and I was like oh that looks actually interesting like I want to buy it and here she is buying it for me but let me read the description dinosaurs are alive in 1946 a remote island was discovered where dinosaurs never went extinct through breeding and genetic man manipulation dinosaur populations increased and dinomania reached a fever pitch worldwide until a certain terrible incident occurred afterward dinosaur reserves like in Inyoshima Dino Land fell on hard times after enter Suma Suzume, a kind hearted rookie dinosaur keeper. I think she'd be the one to save Dino Land from extinction. I'm interested in reading this. I need a yeah. I'll have my opinions and comments on it in a review video guys would want that and the next is one dance volume one so i kind of like sports mangas too so anything to do with that and i don't i guess you can you can probably say that dance is a sport okay so let me read the description for you guys kabuku kotani is starting high school and he plans to do what he always Done. Go along with his friends, keep quiet, and not draw too much attention to himself. After all, it's hard enough to get by with a stutter like his. Why make things worse by standing out from the crowd? But then he sees another first year, Hikari Wanda. They see like no one is watching, or like she doesn't care who sees her. It makes Kabuku wonder could he reach that same freedom to find that same freedom? To find his way to Wanda, he does something he never thought he could. He joins the dance club. After all, every routine begins with a single step, right? That was a love story too. I didn't know that. Most of the mangas that I find that I'm interested in, I kind of find them from manga haul videos like this one. Um, so I'm kind of interested in reading these and how it's about and how it goes on. I think there's like at least three volumes out that I know that I probably saw. Um, so I can't wait to watch it, read this and give you guys my opinions and thoughts. So that's the end of the video. That's the end of the video. That's all I have for you guys. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Um, please comment down below any like suggestions or feedbacks that you guys would want to see from me in the future. Um, so I guess the next video you guys can will see from me probably is a manga bookshelf tour. I am working
working on right now. Buying all of the decorations and but this will probably be the next video out after this one. And that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching.